here we are again back testing and inspecting this is quite an interesting job uh, it's had one or two well not major problems but bad workmanship hasn't it John mm. Mm. Says, says, says John okay piece of trunking for whatever reason it's been extended but you normally have a coupling piece between here and there and then if you're going to join an earth wire you have a thing called a spanner and you tighten up the nut and bolt there and this end well it's got, it's got a loose nut and bolt and this end goes nowhere it should goes on there somewhere which we'll do in a little while and here's a tip for all you young electricians out there if you're mounting a fuse board on top of trunking and you're going to pass a bush through and on the other end on the inside of the trunking you're going to put a lock nut please put a lock nut or a lock ring in between the fuse board and the trunking so that you can get your lid of your trunking back on without having to hammer it in understandably we can't move the fuse board up an eighth of an inch um, I've had to take this bush out because it was just a bush like that loose in the hole with no lock nut. So I'm going to put the lock nut on and then refeed this cable back into the fuse board. This whole installation could have been done a little bit better, but um, it's not dangerous. But marks out of 10, probably two. two. Now, a little bit more than that. The idea is there, but it's just not finished.